Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, Penny's kittens were finally born, her little brood of birdlings, and they are the most precious thing I have ever seen. I really can't wait until they grow up a little bit more so we can learn some more about their personalities. Right now, while they're still sleeping, we can interact with them a little bit, but of course it doesn't uh, give us too much information to work off of. Finch is uh, snoring away at this time though, so he is a really, really heavy sleeper. Raven is often a little bit more spirited. You could have sworn you heard a mew coming from your kitten, but now it is calmly sleeping. Oh, so she must be having some vivid dreams. We know Starling is actually a quite musical, though today he's sleeping soundly, so he doesn't feel like uh, gracing us with any songs. Piper, on the other hand, seems a little bit more shy. Your kitten hides their eyes with their paws as they slumber. So she's still uh, having a little bit of trouble adjusting to this new and strange world. But I'm sure as soon as she does open her eyes, she is going to love this place. We have so many sparkling gemstones, fireflies in the corner. There's nothing for a kitten to fear in here. I've even picked up some gifts that we can hopefully give them when they do wake up. You guys have mentioned that you think Starling might like flowers, so I gave him a little marigold next to his nest. We have uh, berries for Finch. We have the uh, dragonfly, of course, for Raven, because I want to see if she would like to chase this guy around the den. And then a shell for Piper, because I'm just hoping, thanks to her name, of course, that she's going to enjoy all of the little gifts we can find by the ocean. Shells and fish... Kind of like Alyssa, actually. We'll have to see, though. Just because that's what Penny is hoping for doesn't mean that our uh, kittens are going to oblige. I did also leave some doves and rabbits next to each one, so we'll see who tends to enjoy those meals the most. I wouldn't mind if the snow were to stop right about now. It just keeps accumulating. Oh, so it sounds like it's going to be a bit of a snowy day outside. But that's good for us because it gives us a good opportunity to uh, maybe train for tomorrow's festivities. As we know, we're going to have some uh, snowball fights to contend with to hopefully collect some more tokens. And I would absolutely love to be able to hang those adorable little lights around the den this time. I know our kittens would love those too. And they would go pretty well with all the fireflies that we've collected over the past few years. So we'll see if we can uh, hopefully get lucky and receive enough of those tokens. Hey Penny, where does a cat go if they lose their tail? They go to the retail store. Okay, Amber, I didn't know you were such a jokester. We learn something new about these cats every day, it seems. Hmm, note to self, I need to work on the delivery of that one. Maybe just a little bit. I'm sure Doc would enjoy your jokes, though. He seems like the kind of cat who would really like puns. Sometimes I gather up the snow and use it on a wound to stop the bleeding. Oh, he gave us this tip not too long ago, which is always a good thing for Penny to keep in the back of her mind, especially now that she has a handful of kittens to watch after, too. Hey, Penny, I got this white firefly for you. Hope you like it. Oh, Sarge, thank you so much. He's always thinking about our kittens. He gives us uh, quite a few little night lights to make sure that they're not going to be afraid, which is a very, very fitting of a guard. But Missy, I think we're going to uh, leave most of our pets with you today. We're actually just going to take Aqua with us because we have a little bit of training to do. We want to see if we can uh, get into some of those battles on the outskirts of the territory, so we can hopefully get ourselves all ready to uh, throw snowballs tomorrow. We'll have to make sure that Penny is nice and well-fed too, so we'll munch on some of our berries. And unfortunately, it seems like Lyris is not going to be awake just yet. So we'll just let Mare that we're going to be on our way. Great to see you, Penny. You always lift my spirits. The Winter Festival is happening tomorrow at the Sacred Temple. We hope you'll be able to join us. It begins at 11 o'clock sharp in the morning. Yep, that's what we're going out to train for. We have a big mission ahead of us. Last year, all of our efforts were for the Forest Guardian, so that was pretty important too. 
but this year we're doing all of these uh, games. We're competing just for the sake of our kittens, so we can get them those lovely lights. So I think the closest battle was, um, yeah, the one right on the road. In fact, it looks to be the corner of the road, so that has to be the Mystic Cats. It's so close to their territory that uh, I would be very, very surprised if any of the mountain cats came down this far. We are really starting to push Leo out of his territory though, so I wouldn't be surprised if he finds some way to retaliate in the future. He has been known to be very, very crafty when it comes to battling with Penny Cat, so we have to stay on our toes. Thankfully, we do still have plenty of herbs to keep us healed, so even if Penny takes a little bit of damage here, she should be fine to uh, go fight again. We'll try to grab any little morsels that we happen to see though, because we are still working toward uh, hopefully getting a new den upgrade. Specifically the one that will give us an extra room to uh, store all of our stuff. But where are the cats? Okay, there they are. Panda, Almond, and uh, somebody else. So not too many cats for us to take care of over here. It seems like the Mystic Colony isn't too concerned about uh, keeping their borders safe, though that's probably because all of their attention is up toward the northern portions of the map. They want to know why Penny is sneaking up to the highlands, but we're not ready to give them any clues just yet. Meow meow! Oh Wiggles, you are adorable! Thank you for helping us out, little guy! We're just going to uh, steal this bunny before we scoot on up to the other battles. Or maybe not. Nope, that guy went right off the screen. He had other plans. And hello, Jasper. Oh, I didn't know we had uh, other reinforcements waiting on the sidelines just in case we needed more help. Please let me know if you spot anything scary where you're going. That way I can stay a safe distance away. Okay, Jasper. Maybe you weren't actually going to help us out. I guess he knows that Penny probably has it covered. Or maybe he was hoping that a Penny was going to come in for reinforcements for him. Penny has been known to uh, take care of basically any battle that stands in her way. Oh, we should check and see if we have enough uh, experience points to upgrade something else. We have exactly enough to upgrade our foraging skills. Or we could uh, possibly try to upgrade diplomacy again because we're already at Diplomacy 4, and I am curious to see how high these can go. Let's see if we can get to Diplomacy 5. That way we can use it even uh, more often up in the Highlands. Now it cools down in 180 seconds. So uh, as soon as we get up to our typical pathway, we'll go ahead and use it up there and hopefully claim a little bit more of that territory. We are so close to actually just like claiming the Highland Lake for our own. Just like two more tiles and then Penny will be able to hand it down to one of her kittens. I still think that Finch is probably going to end up being the most level-headed of them all. Raven is probably going to be very ambitious, but I'm not sure if she would be a cut out for the role of leadership. We'll have to see how they act around each other once they do finally wake up. Of course, Piper, I think, is going to be uh, very, very shy. Probably too shy to uh, really interact too much with the other colonies. Though that being said, she might want to carve her own path in the world. Maybe one that is, uh, oh dear, a little bit more peaceful. One that doesn't go out trying to uh, hunt frogs, I guess. Maybe she would want to rely on the berries and the herbs to keep her healthy. And Starling I see as just having his head stuck up in the clouds. In fact, maybe he would find uh, more friendship down by the Mystic Colony, because plenty of those cats seem to have very eccentric ways as well. Of course, I feel like Lyris would probably be the best suited as his mentor. He's probably going to just love listening to all of his poems and all of his stories. Oh, and hello, rascal. Did you scare away my dove? Well, we're going to take your muse then because we could use those for Mulby. Now, I believe the battle should be directly ahead of us. So uh, maybe we should take one extra Marigold just in case. And it looks like we also have uh, one of our snake lilies too. So we could always use that if there's too many cats up here in the highlands. There they are, the mountain cats. We'll use our deep cut skill and then we'll get in there and hopefully take them all out. 
Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Two of our cats survived that battle too, so maybe they can patrol this area with us? Make sure no other enemies are lurking behind all the trees. Ever tried frog? Can't stand the stuff myself, but some cats love it. Oh, Stella, we were just talking about that. We actually caught quite a few of these frogs today, so I guess we know not to give uh, her any of those gifts. Hold your head high and proud, Penny. You belong to a strong and prestigious colony. Yeah, we know it, Slate. Don't you worry. Let's go up to uh, the tile right by our Highland Lake and use our diplomacy skill right here in the Highland Central. There we go. Now this whole tile, oh geez, is under our control, but the cats are not too happy about it. Yeah, the mountain colony is definitely starting to unnotice our ways, and I'm sure Leo is sending them here as soon as he smells us. Now that we've claimed this tile, that might actually mean that we've uh, cut them off from the corner of the highlands. Yeah, they have uh, one tile over here in the highland north, but otherwise they are completely separated from their territory, just like the mystic colony too. So Penny has really shaken things up in the forest by uh, building this pathway here. So you can understand why Leah would be a little bit cautious. But she's going to need to eat some of her extra berries so she can hopefully steal this bunny. We didn't have much luck with the other one, but surely second time's the charm. We'll just scoot on up here to make sure that we're um, making our rounds, because just entering the territory does give us a little bit of influence as Penny kind of spreads her scent all around the trees and the rocks and picks up every last bunny she can find. Yeah, even though we don't need to really give those to Scout anymore, I do still like to make sure that he's happy by uh, offering him some breakfast every now and then. And we do have our little collection of rabbits and doves under the tree too. In fact, we'll go ahead and leave another one under here a little personalized gift for our future leaders. And then I think it might be time for Penny to head back home. She needs to rest up so she'll be ready to, of course, win those snowball fights. Last year, we had a little bit of trouble escaping all of the snowballs that were being thrown in our direction. Some of the cats landed some good hits on Penny Cat, so she knows that she needs to uh, be on her toes today. Today is the Winter Festival. I should head to the Sacred Temple and join in on the fun. Oh, I wonder if anybody is going to watch our kittens. I mean, surely Scout is going to be at the festival. Hello, little guys. I hope you're going to be okay in here while everybody is up playing. Finch is still sleeping soundly, so he is uh, going to be just fine. You could have sworn you heard a mew from your kitten, but now it is calmly sleeping. Raven might be uh, the first one to open her eyes. I wonder which one of them is going to wake up first. It almost seems that your kitten sings as they slumber. All oh, the beautiful music filling the den again. Just what Penny needs to get her pumped for the festival. Your kitten sleeps partially covered by an assortment of grasses. Oh, she's trying to hide even more. That is so cute. One of you actually mentioned that she'd probably use that turtle shell to hide under, which is just the most adorable image ever. So let's drop off our little firefly from Sarge outside, and then we'll see what sort of battles are uh, taking place today. Yeah, those strange battles so close to the sacred temple, where things are supposed to be all about peace today. Clearly, some of the colonies didn't get the memo, so we're going to make sure that we uh, take care of them before they ambush us again. Look at this, and it's the mountain cats again, too. Oh, I swear, Leo is trying to uh, ambush us in any way that he can. Just catch us off guard when none of our cats are in the territory, so he knows that we won't have any reinforcements to back us up. It's so strange. I mean, you would think that he must have heard about the Forest Guardian by now. He knows that the Forest Guardian is on our side, right? I don't think we've ever seen enemies so close to our main home, though. Not since uh, we expanded our own territory. So I wonder if that was actually cats trying to sneak in to, like, get to our kittens? Oh my gosh, Penny is not going to be able to uh, enjoy this festival very much because that is going to be on the back of her mind. 
but let's have her go ahead and eat her berries so we can make sure she clears out all of these enemies before she goes to have fun. Because we don't want them sneaking into our den while we're not around. We want to make sure these Mystic Colony cats are far, far away from them. Though I suppose it's not really the Mystic Colony that she's too concerned about. Because so far, Alyssa has been uh, rather kind to her. We haven't had to worry about the Mystic Colony pushing so close to our borders. But we'll just make sure that we- oh my gosh! Clear out the rest! Oh, I forgot that I was right underneath the festival! Okay, well, the Mystic Colony gets to uh, take the Prairie Corner then. I suppose that's far enough away from our den that we don't even have to worry. It's a special day anyway, so as long as our kittens are safe, we can just focus on trying to have fun. What's been your proudest accomplishment this year? Well, of course, having our adorable kitten, Scout, and I'm sure that you would say the same. Can you believe it's been a year since our last winter festival? Time flies when you're having fun. Well, we'll try, Delta. But with the Leo so close by, oh, Penny can't help but wonder what he's talking to Mossy about. Maybe he's trying to uh, get his paws on some poisons from the swamps. Have you seen the small sea things poking through the snow? It makes me so happy. Yeah, I think Mossy might be uh, giving him some clues about potential herbs he can use. At least these festivals keep morale high within the cats of the mountain domain. Yeah, so they can come out and try to charge us when we're least expecting it. But we know that uh, all the cats typically say the same things at the festivals, so we just want to dive in, Coco, and see what sort of uh, things we can win at your shop. Yeah, those winter lights. That is what I'm after today. We want to uh, try to take those home and string them up all around the den for our kittens. So we need um, only six tokens, which means we only need to win three more. So as long as we have some strong cats on our side, I have a feeling that a Penny is going to be able to take care of this pretty easily. Oh, look at that. Scout is playing with her this time. Welcome to round one of the Winter Snowball Fights. Your teammate for this event will be Scout. We can take them, no sweat. That's right, Scout. Nobody can defeat us. We know what's at stake here. Huzzah, an easy challenge. Thy defeat is nigh. Remember that the most important thing is to have fun. Robin is always trying desperately to uh, get the cats to be a little bit less competitive, but that's all good for us. So we just need to uh, throw snowballs at the other cats and dodge what they throw our way. And the less hits we take, the more tokens we'll win. We can also block their snowballs if we throw one directly at them, but we have to uh, be careful not to get in the way of one of theirs. I think we've hit uh, Arthur a couple of times, right? There we go. Oh no, Robin, you actually took out Scout. Okay, now it's one on one. We have to try to uh, hit her if we can, but she's being very, very cautious, staying at the bottom of the screen there. Okay, I think we've got her. Just one more good hit, right? I'm sure Scout must have gotten a couple in on you. He wouldn't go down without a big, big fight. Oh, she is being so tricky. She's very tentative. She's kind of trying to like lure me down there before she flings all of her snowballs. There we go, finally. Oh, that was actually a perfect game too. And that's the end. Let's see how everybody did and hand out the prizes. Penny, you've won three festival tokens. Thanks for playing. All right, so we already have enough to uh, string up all of our lovely lights. So let's see what else we can win here. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, even work towards some new decorations at the other festivals. I think the only one we haven't purchased yet is the rug. And I can't quite remember exactly which festival that was in. Was it maybe the summertime? Welcome to round two of the snowball fights, and yet again, we're playing with Scout. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Is it because we've actually married him now? So he's going to stick with us for all of these snowball fights? I mean, I'm not complaining. We are definitely a pretty good team. And we're playing against Pebble, who is still a little bit shy, and Alyssa, who I'm sure will be putting up a fight. So let's jump into uh, this one too. I'll focus on Pebble up here while you try to pin down Alyssa, okay? Just get a couple of uh, good hits on her and then we should be golden. 
Yeah, Peppa is actually quite a bit faster than he gave himself credit for. I mean, he is throwing those snowballs at a rapid pace. Let's try to destroy them before they hit Scout. Oh my gosh. You have to be careful, little guy. It looks like Alyssa may have swapped places. So she wants to uh, try to take out Penny Cat instead. But I think we only need to hit her one more time. Maybe Scout could do it for us. There we go. Now we're just down to Pebble. He seems to have lost a little bit of his energy. Probably uh, used it all up when he was flinging so many snowballs at us before. Just a couple more good hits. Go on, Scout. Maybe you can uh, finish the job for us. Or at least distract him so he's not paying attention to our snowballs. There we go. This time even Scout managed to uh, survive. So three more festival tokens for us. And yeah, let's see if uh, Scout is going to play with us again for the third round of the snowball fights. There he is. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, they must just be like the perfect team, the dream team. So they don't want to uh, play with anybody else. We have Nil and Robin going against us this time. Robin was tricky last time, so we'll have to keep an eye on her. It looks like a scout is going to be trying to take her out first as we go after Nil. Oh, I bet Nil is actually going to uh, really enjoy meeting our kittens since they're all named after birds. And he knows how much Penny loves her birds, too. Oh no, they took out Scout already. Now it's just Penny against two cats. Oh, this is going to be tricky. They are throwing so many of those snowballs. All right, we might be able to hit Robin if she goes down a little bit further. Nope, unfortunately, she scooted out of the way. And she did actually hit us, too. Maybe we need to throw our snowballs closer to the line. Though that gives us a far less time to react. They're just moving way too fast out of the way. Let's let them go down a little bit. There we go. We managed to hit Robin, but she also hit us. Oh, we might not survive this one. But at least we managed to make quite a few tokens before this. There we go, there is Nil taken care of. So now it's just you, Robin. You and me yet again. Who would have thought that she'd be so good at snowball fights? I mean, she seems like a sweet, unassuming cat, but she really packs a punch. And she's so quick on her feet too. She's very, very nimble. All right, just a couple more good throws. There we go, just in time too, because I saw her snowball coming at us. So we won two festival tokens that time. That's not too bad. We only missed out on uh, one potential token. So that's 11 of them for us to spend at the shop. So first things first, we have to get our winter lights decor to uh, hang all around our den. You bought the winter lights. This decoration will be automatically displayed at your den. Yeah, and it should be just like um, all of these colorful rainbow lights that are twinkling in the trees. Now we have five tokens left to spend, but I'm not sure that we're going to be able to uh, really buy anything of worth here. We have the snow day color, the bubble wand, and the blueberries, but we have so many berries in our den. I know we already have the bubble wand too. Oh, we should use that when our kittens wake up. I bet they would have loved to chase some bubbles around the den. Something to train them for hunting in the future. Oh, and you know, it just dawned on me that uh, the next festival, the Spring Festival, is the one where we'll be able to uh, hopefully buy the next pet for the pet parade. I believe it was the pet ladybug? So we'll have to keep that in mind too. I'm sure we'll have enough tokens because we still have five left over. So pretty soon, you guys will have a new family member as well. Then we'll potentially have a one pet for each and every one of our kittens. We'll have to see uh, who gets along with who the best. But yeah, hopefully our kittens are still safe. Scout is, um, oh my gosh. Not home yet, but somebody put all of our lights up already. Oh, they even go into uh, the nursery a little bit. Oh, all the way up here by all of our gemstones. Oh, this is beautiful. Our kittens are going to be so happy when they wake up. They're going to think that the entire world is as colorful, though. Filled with rainbow gems and rainbow lights. Food just waiting at their doorstep. We don't want them to be spoiled too rotten. They're going to have to learn how to hunt their own food, too. We're not going to hand everything to them on a silver platter. But now the spring is just around the corner. Hopefully pretty soon we'll be seeing all of our little kittens open their eyes for the very first time. 
As far as I know, the kittens do actually open their eyes at different points in time. So I wonder which one is going to be the first one to take their first steps into the world. That is going to be so much fun just to watch them grow. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!